Hello, thanks for joining me, astrologer Patrick Arundel, for your in-depth weekly horoscope forecast for week commencing the 22nd of February. If you've yet to subscribe to my channel, I'd be honoured if you did so now. Please click or tap on the bell notification symbol. If you'd like to reach out and have a one-to-one -one consultation with me, please click below to see my testimonials. One of the most gratifying things I do in my work is consultations with clients. It helps create a lot of clarity and that reassures people on where they are in their journey and how to make the best decisions for their future. If you want to access my affordable range of personal horoscope reports, there's a special offer, 30% off, off a 12 month forecast and a character analysis and soar above your zodiac sign. Again, based on your time, date and place of birth, so totally unique to you. Please see below for more information. Hello Pisces and welcome to your in-depth weekly horoscope for week commencing the 22nd of February. You have the sun, the gorgeous sun in your sign, along with your co-regents of Neptune. That's a pretty decent combination to have with you. But you know, you're going to be joined on Friday by Venus, the planet of love. If a relationship situation has been giving you a lot of food for thought, you've been feeling very reflective, or it seemed that others have been keeping you at a distance, if you felt marooned or isolated, once Venus enters your sign on Friday, you're going to come much more into the present. If there have been some painful, painful separations around relationships, you can start to move forwards with a much more optimistic heart. But also this week, the sun in your sign is forging a brilliant angle to Uranus. Uranus is about the truth. It's electrifying. It shakes things up. It can be very rebellious. It pushes back against the uh, status quo. In your third house, it's been making you feel, I think, really quite um, on edge at times, particularly once the, uh, or as the sun was moving through the sign of Aquarius. And of course, you've still got Saturn in Aquarius forging a right angle to Uranus. So anything of a deeply personal nature that's a little bit unresolved, and it may be uh, to do with past issues, particularly past hurts, or self-limiting ways of thinking, or your own uh, uh, sense of, of difficulty around certain elements of life, what Uranus is doing by clashing with Saturn is kind of electrifying all of that and making it difficult to deal with. So it could be at times that you have a great need to sort of like get a pillow and sort of bang it against the settee or let some steam off in some way. But you know, Uranus this week comes back to you very helpfully because its angle to the sun is saying that part of you that's intuitive, the sun, links with that part of you that thinks quickly, the third house, and it can see you absolutely brilliant. So your ideas can be on top form this week. Some of them can be very different, groundbreaking, and that can create a lot of stimulation and a lot of excitement. Also, Pluto in your sector of the future and your friendships and the collective, that's forging a brilliant link to Mars, also in your third house. If you've got a clear idea of your direction of travel, the signposts are all in place. This combination in the Earth signs of Capricorn, Pluto and Taurus with Mars gives you the heft to really go for it. Your speed of travel can be quite remarkable and nothing really is going to get in your way. Not because you're going to overpower people unkindly, simply because if you've really got the plan clear, the energy is all going to be flowing so well for you to push you forwards. And that's really dramatic. It is true that Venus, for the first part of this week, is still in that isolated and rather uh, sentimental part of your situation, the 12th house, and it is still squaring with Mars. Perhaps in an existing relationship, issues that should have been spoken of a long time ago that have been bottled up or perhaps opportunities weren't taken to clear the air, there may still be a need to do that. So if you have things 
that you have been keeping to yourself that need ventilating, let them out. Because by Friday, as Venus enters into your sign, not only is this a new start romantically, Venus is very much to do with art, design and presentation. You can decide to give yourself a glamorous new makeover. And that can all be part of this rebirthing that's coming through as the planets start to move into your sign and out of the 12th house, which is really much more psychologically challenging. We do have, however, a full moon in your opposite sign on Saturday. Someone somewhere can probably accuse you of being too single-minded, that you want everything on your terms, that you're not staying conscious of how it feels for others. Because Saturn forges a quincunx with this full moon, Uranus actually forges a tremendous trine to it and a sextile to your sun. But the quincunx with Saturn, Saturn, of course, still in that 12th house, much more psychological. It's possible that you aren't seeing yourself the same way that others do. And it can be quite bruising if someone does push back on your world view. But if they do, try to let them have their point of view. Don't close them down. Let them say how they feel. They may actually be saying it no more loudly, no more volubly than you would do. So give them the chance to say it because you will find it will break down lots of walls and resistance, free things up and on the whole, Pisces, this is a week of real progression for you. And Venus moving into your sign is something to really behold. Don't be surprised if more than one admirer beats a path to your proverbial COVID-restricted door over the next four weeks. So whether it's digitally or some kind of intermediary or watching someone's body language, but you're going to be popular as the weeks go by from here on in. It's been a pleasure being with you. Stay safe. Take care, good luck, and goodbye.